Hey guys, it's July and we're bringing you new episodes of RCTV. Why you might ask? Because it's so popular whenever we come to Paul's backyard. Paul, what do you got in store for us this episode? Lots. <laughs> <laughs> well, about four days ago, that tree split in half and a new bridge came two days later. And we only had three days notice that RCTV was coming. So this is what we've thrown together for you. have Evan here with us. Evan, what are you sporting today? This is my SCX-10 Unimog. Uh, pretty much as custom as you can get it. Lots of Vanquish goodies on it. Uh, running all Tekken uh, on a 3S. Uh, lots of power, lots of wheel speed, uh, lots of broken parts until you get them all uh, strong enough. So is your truck waterproof as well, Evan? Everything's waterproof. <laughs> The speed controller makes such a little amount of heat that uh, it can be in a balloon, no problem. And everything else has been plasti dipped on it, so she's pretty well waterproof. Cool. So does it uh, crawl pretty good, or you just use it for a little bit of wheel speed and helping up stuff? Oh, uh, as you can see right now, I got the pit bulls on it. Uh, they're a great tire for the rock. They uh, work really good. And uh, when I'm going in the snow and the mud, I use a TSL bogger, which uh, is a little bit taller, gives you a little more clearance and gets you through the mud a little better. Last time we seen you, you had your stock SCX-10 Jeep, and uh, as I can tell, you did a little bit of a conversion to it? Yeah, um, we've done the Bronco body on it. I got that at the swap meet. I traded for a motor and a speed control. There's still a little bit what's left of the Jeep inside. I kept the cage in the interior just for a little bit more of a custom look. And then I did the uh, Vanquish shock towers front and rear because I snapped the stock shock tower. Other than that, it's still bone stock though. Still working good for you? Still working good, even after the motor let out a whole bunch of smoke about, what, two months ago? Still good, still going. Well, we'll have to definitely check it out on the rock. <laughs> so, Paul, what kind of rigs are you running new this year? Well, the new one is the uh, Twin Hammers. So you're trying out the FOFF, are you? Yeah, I'm trying to give it a shot and see how it goes. It's pretty good. So have you done anything to the truck besides for just putting a bigger battery in it from what I can see from here? Nope, just running 3S. With a different speed control, of course? Yes something that'll handle it. Gotta love built-in uh, <laughs> safeties so you can't run three cell life on a stock speed control. As you can see here, we got an independent front suspension with a solid axle rear suspension with a trailing arm. It's got a cantilever style suspension that has the shocks inboard so it runs the uh, push rods in the front. As you can tell, the control arms are all solid so you don't have to worry about rocks and junk getting caught in there. All in all, it makes for a good truck and actually jumps really nice and lands really level. We'll have to go check out and see how Paul gets through the rocks with it. As you can see, it's a pretty good jumper. Just to show you guys that a newcomer can actually have a pretty cool truck, we have Jason with us. Jason, uh, I see you have an SCX-10, but what have you done to it? I put on the Dingle, I believe it's the Dingle Link kit uh, to shorten the wheelbase to make it look more scale. Just gave it a little bit of a paint job and put a light kit from Axial and... I see you've also done a hard body conversion. Is that an RC four-wheel drive one or is that a Tamiya one? Um, I believe it's RC four-wheel drive. Uh, the Mojave 
body kit, did a little conversion with the headlights, made them round instead of uh, square. So have you noticed that it crawls a little bit better with the hard body on it, or have you lost any performance with it or anything like that? I lowered the, the hard body. It was way too high and lowered it a bit and made sure that the battery and everything kind of squished together and make sure all the weight's in the front and it actually works really good. Cool, well thank you for bringing it out. We'll definitely have to check it out on the rocks. Thanks. it up for our session at Paul's Backyard. You stay tuned for more RCTV. We're going to go back and have some fun crawling.